Hello, I'm Nicholas Curry. I'm a descendant of the Malinjali clan of the Ugamapi people of Brisbane and Bow Desert and Logan River, so River Mob. Living on Wurundjeri country, I grew up early age on Larrakee country up Darwin Way, studying at Victorian College of the Arts as a painter in my third year of my Bachelor's of Fine Arts. It was always a very prestigious thing, VCA and University of Melbourne. My, my nan cleaned the chemistry building at Parkville and my dad used to go to the library and just listen to records. So it was always like a big thing and a big deal. The interview was lovely, really warm, really nice. Of course you're scared and of course you're worried about, did I say the right thing? Am I gonna say the right thing? Am I wearing the right stuff? But there's no stress in it. They care for you and they just wanna see good art and good artists. My name is Patrick Bencher. I'm a third year music student and I play in two of the ensembles here as well as do my academic subjects and my compulsory subjects. Alongside that, I also do some brass band playing with a few community bands over in the eastern suburbs and in Hawthorne. I was really happy when I got accepted in the course. I got accepted in on the first round of offers, so I was really happy with that and everyone in my family was very happy with that and my parents have been very supportive of me going through the music course. I don't think of studying art or doing a fine art course as a fine art course. It's a study of life and a study of expression of life. Arts and culture is really reflective in each other and this place is the pinnacle of it. My identity coexisting with my work as a proud Aboriginal man goes everywhere. It's as soon as I put the pen to paper, or as soon as I put the paint to canvas, as soon as I do a sculpture or a shaker leg, for anything, it's it's integrated, it's everything. Every day I'm learning something new about myself or about a practice or about how to be. Music is not a hobby when you get here. It's not just a bit of time, it's a full lifestyle. And my first experience with Willen was bumping into them on O Week. They were walking as a collective mob here to do a welcome to country with an auntie. And I was like, where's the Blackfellas? And like, where are the Blackfellas? Because I saw Blackfellas and I was like, oh, sweet, people I can talk to. They've all just been helpful, just with always having the right information on hand, always taking that ex extra step to go looking for me where I didn't know where to look. There's a different feeling when Aboriginal people teach Aboriginal people and uphold it indigenous people and make you feel safe and will listen to your fears. I find that once I've finished a concert or I've played a piece really well or I've just really enjoyed the moment of a particular piece that I just feel like really happy afterwards and just finding that the joy after the playing and the joy in the playing kind of keeps me going and makes me want to keep going. I'm just happy to be here and I think that's honestly the best thing. It's the friends I've made, it's the experiences I've had, it's the bad work I've made, it's the bad paintings I've painted and and no, I'm just really happy. Like I think that's what I'm really grateful for, that I'm, I can proudly say that I'm happy while being here. My name's Tiriki Onis. I'm a Yorta Yorta and Jar Jar artist, academic and maker. I've got the great honour of being the head of the Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development at the Victorian College of the Arts and the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music, the Faculty of Fine Arts and Music here at the University of Melbourne. If you're a First Nations artist, if you're passionate about what you do, and if you want to take your practice further, if you want to turn it into a career, we want to know you. We want to help whether that be through scholarships and grants, whether it's about connecting you up culturally, providing opportunities to connect with country and place and story, the story of our families and ancestors, or whether it be providing access to Indigenous tutorial assistance services, academic advising, we want to be there with you right the way through your journey. From initial interest, application, audition, success, and then helping you chart your way through your degree and ultimately, to support you into finding opportunities in the career of your choice. All we ask is that you have a passion and that you want to take your artistic practice and use the power and the privilege contained therein to bring your stories to the world. <laughs>